well after after persistent uh, 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 problems with my truck uh, dying and falling dead on the road I finally found the problem I got the GM code 42 now this right here is the uh, diagnostic sheet starting of code 42 it describes the diagnostics and what you got to do and also the diagnostic aids now this next page here this is going to take you through the, the walkthrough of exactly what you need to do the process of, of troubleshooting step by step now to do the start of this uh, troubleshooting you're going to have to go to the glove box on the passenger side and remove the four bolts at the bottom as you see here there's one bolt and then we're going to see four bolts here four bolts that you're going to have to take out on the bottom and the glove box will basically just come straight out <clears throat> once you get that out then you're going to look inside there you're going to see a silver box and it's going to be held by a metal plate there that rusted looking plate on the left there and the uh, silver box is the ecm and you have two connectors okay and you'll have to get that out and disconnect those connectors and you'll have to go into the engine area here so you know where everything else is where the, where you're going to be troubleshooting at and where you'll be troubleshooting all the way is a white wire which is the est all the way to the distributor there on the back side now you don't want to disconnect anything there at that time because back there that's when you're going to finally disconnect to see if there's an open in the wire somewhere or a short to ground uh, all this is in place due to the uh, diagnostics as you do it and follow the procedures but right now I'm just showing you pictures of exactly where things are so you know where it is there's the distributor cap you've got two bolts that hold that on I would definitely number your plugs because if you're gonna get in there uh, like I found out it was finally my uh, ignition uh, uh, distribution module and uh, I had to take it apart those are the two plugs in the back right there that you will have to disconnect and there's also another plug underneath the cap that you'll have to disconnect also that also sends your spark straight to your uh, your uh, spark plugs now there's another picture of the distributor and the two plugs on the outside that are seen in the on the right bottom side there well, on the other side of this uh, uh, module here you'll see there's is, is a is a disconnecting switch that you need to disconnect first when you take this thing off there it is right there the lock tab you'll need to disconnect that that's the uh, the spark that actually is sent to the uh, 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 the, the, the distributor itself then you've got the second and third there as we saw uh, uh, to also be removed now that's the module that uh, I took out and it was bad and uh, I used super lube on the new one to put it in now uh, the super lube is rated for 500 degrees so it is well beyond uh, what you need and it'll make this thing last forever than what GM or anybody else will give to you you can even use these on CPUs but anyway the uh, the the thing going on with this uh, whole whole vehicle uh, menagerie here is I went through all the troubleshooting that it told me to go through and uh, I should have known that it was a 42 and ignition distribution module usually is the culprit as I found out from the auto uh, part places uh, what you have to do is basically uh, uh, get uh, get the module out and uh, as I showed you there how you first second and third step you might want to go back there and watch it again and see uh, uh, where you need to disconnect it uh, underneath the, 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 the uh, distributor cap once you take that out you can take it to O'Reilly and I also heard Napa parts does it also and they can bench test it and tell you if it's good or bad once you find out if it's good or bad then you're done then you don't have to do the troubleshooting like I did all those troubleshooting steps steps on that sheet which I will show you again at the end uh, that you can you can you know uh, expand and look at if you need to diagnose from there when you find out if your module is good and you have to put it back in and then you've got somewhere an open or a short in the uh, EST circuit or the the other line which is the the uh, bypass so your bypass or your EST usually it's your EST grounded or open that'll cause this problem but uh, uh, typically as I found out the uh, the, uh, the the silicon that they put on the bottom of these things is not very good and not very high heat rated so it goes into failure so your module goes into failure but this thing gave me trouble for a long time I had this thing uh, only when I turned the AC on when I when I first bought the truck uh, extremely used um, I bought the truck and uh, it would 
it would basically die when I put it into AC mode uh, using the air conditioning. It would always die at every stinking light I went to. And then uh, recently it started dying even in cold weather with no AC on and uh, then finally I got the fault code 42. Well I followed this happy find sheet here and uh, went through every stinking step and procedure and uh, finally found through the homage that I was very close to 5,000 ohms. I was about 4,100 ohms if you follow these steps and you have to go through them. You'll see the 4,100 ohms is not enough. It has to be over 5,000 but I still took it in and had the module tested and it was the ignition control module and uh, got a new one and everything seems to run perfect now. So these things do fail a lot. You're going to have problems with them and they uh, are prevalent to go bad if they get overheated. So definitely use the super lube like I said. Okay, uh, you know, that's uh, that works for me and I uh, hope it works for you. Good luck.